We started looking into our multi-platform strategy very early on. We want to make sure that we have enough players building multiplayer games with VR being so fragmented. It makes it, of course, difficult to get a sustaining player base. We planned it really from the beginning. We talked to our publisher about releasing on multiple platforms like consoles and PC. It was a very, very early decision since you obviously need to make them first before you start developing on games. Early in pre-production, we're really kind of taking a look at what, what the current market looks like and we see where kind of the main players are. But we're also constantly looking to see what's coming out next. One of the things we've done is as new platforms come out, we've gone and ported our back catalog to those uh, platforms. And it's nice because then you've got people who are kind of coming into the VR space and now they're playing on this new platform, giving them uh, the option of being able to play your game is, I think, important. We started looking at our multi-platform strategy as soon as we start developing the games. Since the very beginning, we knew that we are going to do a game that was possible to run in multiple platforms but not also to run, that it has sense to, to be in different platforms. You know, there are some genders that doesn't adapt well to mobile and they work very well on consoles. So when we start designing the game and thinking about what game to do, we were thinking also that it should meet that criteria. Smaller studios are definitely going to want to go towards uh, being multi-platform faster because it allows them, of course, to reach a larger audience. But also in some of these newer platforms, especially XR platforms, there's less competition, so it's much easier to kind of break through. They really need the money that comes from all the different platforms. You have to have a very strong reason not to do it. But if that's not the case, there is really no point of not doing that. I think it also helps in getting exposure some platforms have an easier way of getting exposure and sometimes attraction on one platform can help you getting traction on another platform. With tools like Unity, it makes it easy to do that. If you're writing for things like OpenXR, you don't have to necessarily rewrite everything for every platform like you used to. It makes it uh, fairly easy to release on the multiple platforms and recoup your investment. A lot of games are going cross-platform now because developers are catering to how people want to play. And I think a lot of people want to play anytime, anywhere, however they want to. Cross-platform is something that a lot of players are expecting the games to be right now. It's still a challenging thing for, for a developer to do, especially if you have a lot of platforms that you cover, but it's, it's definitely part of the future. It allows them to bring their community of players together. I think they're all seeing that the larger community and the more engagement you have, the more retentive that is going to be. So it really is a way of leaning into uh, the communities to, to retain their players in the long term. My best tip is to prepare everything. Unity has a lot of great features that makes it way more easier now to port on diff different platforms. Indie developers should think about, do I have the budget to maintain the game, to QA everything? It's a big part and a lot of people forget about that. I think the advice I'd give to anybody trying to bring a new game is also look at new platforms just to kind of get some recognition that they can then also benefit from on more established platforms as well. One of my best tips for launching on multiple platforms is really taking advantage of each one individually. You want your game to still feel the same platform to platform. If there's some unique feature that that platform has, try to take advantage of it because a lot of the games that are made just for that platform will take advantage of it. So if yours doesn't, then yours kind of comes off as slightly less. I think trying to make sure that you're leveraging each one's capabilities and, and uniqueness to, to improve your game is kind of what we like to do with it.